Now, Channel 3 Early Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Bruce DePriest. Well, today certainly was a gorgeous day. Plenty of sunshine and temperatures made their way up right to around 50 degrees, which for early December is pretty nice when you consider the average high for the third day of December is 44. But it made it up to 50 in Windsor Locks, Hartford, Meriden, and uh, pretty close to that in a number of other locations. And what a gorgeous sunset photo taken at Saybrook Point, thanks to uh, Greg Kitchen, where you can see the water, a few high clouds, and also some uh, geese in the uh, foreground there. All right, the headlines for the coastal storm this week. It's an all day storm. So uh, again, plan on some indoor activities for Saturday for sure. Periods of rain heavy at times and we could get anywhere from one to two, maybe as much as three inches due to the heavy rain we've had recently. There could be some uh, poor drainage flooding and maybe even some uh, flooding on some streams and rivers. We saw that happen earlier this week and rain likely changes to snow Saturday afternoon into Saturday night with some accumulation appearing likely for parts of the state, especially in the higher elevations. So the European model is uh, forecasting the rain to move in tomorrow afternoon. So by around this time, in many parts of the state, it's going to be raining. And then the coastal storm comes up on uh, Saturday. That's the main event. So you can see, according to the European model, the storm is going to track near Nantucket. That's a cold track for us, so rain will likely mix with her change to snow. And it looks like the higher elevations of northern Connecticut will take the brunt of the uh, storm. That's the current thinking. And then by Sunday morning, the storm is all gone. And the second half of the weekend is going to be windy and cold, but sunshine returns. Our latest snowfall forecast map, and again, this is preliminary, subject to change. We're thinking in the northwestern part of the state, three to as much as six inches. If a lobe of heavy snow wraps into a northeastern Connecticut, that part of our state could get four to perhaps as much as eight inches. The greater Hartford area into Waterbury, one to as much as four inches and uh, less than an inch in uh, coastal sections of uh, the state. So that's what we're thinking right now. And that's especially true if the storm really winds up off the coast. So for now, we're in good shape. Windsor Locks is 45 with a mainly clear sky. And in New Haven, we're looking good where the temperature is 49 degrees. And currently, we are dropping back through the 40s in uh, many parts of the state. So it's a comfortable late afternoon out there. And we have a light wind that's out of the south or southwest, although Bridgeport has a wind that is averaging 13 miles an hour. So for now, we're in the clear. We'll see a little bit more cloudiness show up as the night goes on. The storm is still starting to gather strength. Only the beginning stages near the uh, Gulf Coast right now. And you can see rain extends northward all the way up into uh, the Tennessee Valley. So lows tonight in the 30s for most of us under a partly cloudy sky and highs tomorrow. Despite the clouds rolling in and some late day rain, it's going to be pretty mild upper 40s and low 50s once again. All right, a stormy day on Saturday. That's why we have the early warning weather alert. Sunday looks better, partly sunny and windy near 40. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday look OK, storm free. Starting out chilly, upper 30s and low 40s early next week. And by Thursday, we may take a run at 50 for the shoreline tomorrow. We're forecasting a high of 52, but Saturday, a gusty wind, raw and rainy and a high of just 45.